Hello again. And in order to save time, I've already taken the back axle out of my rock crawler to show you all. As you can see, I have both my rear leaf springs like so. And well, function like a leaf spring. And as a special request, I will show how I did my that thing is squirrely. The rear drive shaft, which Ah, this camcorder is crummy for that. As I back away you might be able to see it more. And yes, I know I modified Legos against every Lego guy, but in order to keep keep it under well that width or length that is, I modified it a bit, but who's to say nobody else modifies it? I have stuck uh I have uh twist ties and I've stripped the plastic off of them and wrapped them around my U joints in order to keep them in one piece. And in order to try and make what the Germans always get for their small little u universals that I have to make do with the ones that are like this long, I've shortened them a bit. And in some very str uh, strong cases, I've actually used CA glue, which I ch have it here to show you, but it's dried up because I've, well, haven't used it in a very long time. And once again, the camera's holding the picture quality back. I have also put some like gashes and gnar gnarlies, I suppose is how you would say it, on the drive shaft, or for the instance, ooh, the drive shaft knuckles there and there, along with wrapping them with uh, twist ties in order to keep a tight grip on the shaft, as well with the little uh, gnarls I put on the drive shaft to help give it more bite to stay on. It's about like comparing it to say to like a uh, my finger against this slides around a lot as two pieces of sandpaper they won't move together as much anyways that's how I've kept the drive shafts together and quite simple that's the rear axle